This is Nadine Manzoni, Director of Elections and Voter Registration in Pike County. This instructive video will help prepare voters for the changes they can expect when voting at the polls in the upcoming primary election and in future Pike County elections. The Pennsylvania Department of State is requiring all counties replace their current voting systems with voter verifiable paper trail equipment by the 2020 presidential primary election. Pike County is one of only a few Pennsylvania counties that will be meeting this mandate early. Voters will be using a new method of voting in Pike County for the May 21st, 2019 primary election. Paper ballots and an optical scan tabulator will replace the AccuVote touchscreen voting machines that have been used in Pike County elections since 2006. Pike County selected a precinct scan voting system by Dominion Voting Systems. The ImageCast precinct scanner, or ICP, records and tabulates votes from voter-marked paper ballots. The ImageCast X ballot marking device is ADA compliant and ensures that voters with disabilities can independently cast their ballot. Before voting begins, a zero report is printed from the ICP confirming that no votes have been cast before opening the polls. As ballots are cast during polling hours, the ICP tabulates the votes, records the number of ballots cast, and drops the voted ballots into a secure ballot box beneath the scanner. After the polls close, ballots from absentee voters are scanned into the tabulator and the election report is printed with the results for all the candidates on the ballot. The voted ballots are securely transported back to the county to be used in case a recount is ordered or for auditing results. The sign-in process will remain the same. Upon arrival at the polls, all voters are required to sign in the poll book. The poll worker verifies the voter's signature and during a primary election, the voter's party affiliation. After signing the poll book, voters will be handed a paper ballot and a plain folder to place their voted ballot into. Multiple privacy booths will be set up at the polls where voters can vote their ballot in private. When marking your ballot, make sure to fill in the oval to the right of the name of the candidate of your choice. When voting for a write-in candidate, clearly print the name of the candidate on the line provided and fill in the oval to the right of your candidate's name. When a voter has finished voting their ballot, they may use the folder to protect the privacy of their vote as they walk to the precinct scan unit that will tabulate their votes and cast their ballot. The message, ballot successfully cast, will appear in the window of the ICP and the ballot is dropped into the secure ballot box. If a voter has mismarked their ballot or overvoted a race on their ballot, a warning message will appear in the window of the ICP. The message will alert the voter to the error on their ballot and provide instruction on how to correct the error on their ballot or cast their ballot as is. If the voter chooses to correct their ballot, the ICP will return the ballot to the voter and the voter will be issued a new ballot. To accommodate voters with disabilities, the ADA compliant ImageCastX ballot marking device will be at all polling locations. The ImageCastX ballot marking device, or ICX, allows voters with visual impairments to independently cast their ballot using an audio ballot system. Using headphones, their ballot is read to them race by race and candidate by candidate with detailed instructions on how to use the handheld ATI device, navigate the ballot, and cast their votes. The ICX may also be used without the audio by voters with physical disabilities that have difficulty marking their ballot by hand. Any voter unable to mark their ballot by hand can use the ICX tablet as a touchscreen and vote for the candidate of their choice simply by touching the box next to the candidate's name. Ballots voted using the ADA compliant ICX ballot marking device are printed after being confirmed by the voter and then scanned into the ICP to be tabulated and cast. This precinct scan voting system was carefully selected to meet the needs of Pike County voters with security, cost effectiveness, and longevity of use in mind. This system combines voter verified paper ballots with the latest technology in tabulation and election security to deliver accurate, secure, auditable, and reliable results. Visit the Pike County Elections Office for a hands-on interactive demonstration of the new voting system or come out to one of our showcase demonstration events in your area.
For a complete list of scheduled events, check out our website, pikepa.org elections.